Hello and welcome to Advanced Data Analytics. I'm Jun Li, the coordinator and main lecturer of this subject in the coming semester. In this welcome message, I will briefly introduce the content of this subject, what we will learn, how we will learn our procedures, and uh, we will talk about the assignment, the requirements, and uh, how to and in what format, and uh, when that is the due date of uh, this assignment. Also, we will talk about uh, some useful tools and skills we need to develop and uh, learn um, before and uh, during this semester to facilitate our learning of data analytic uh, techniques. Uh, however, before all that, the first message I would uh, uh, to deliver to everybody is a clarification about the dates. Uh, because in this semester, our subject will run in Mondays, and uh, that will conflict with 2nd October, the Labor Day. So I need to reorganize one of the lectures into the due week date of due week, uh, our week week. So we will have a lecture in the due week week. Please schedule this in your plan, and uh, we won't have a lecture in the uh, Labor Day's week. However, I did not change the numbering of the weeks in the subject outline. So the numbers of the weeks in our subject outline is consistent with the duties in the assignment sections and with uh, the subject outline of other subjects. Please notice this when you make your plans. Studying data analytics is exciting because of many recent um, very impressive advance, uh, advances. But it is also challenging because the area is very vast. It's so vast and it is moving so fast. And uh, we need balance between two learning goals. One is to lay a firm foundation about the entire area as a fundamental theories and the basic skills. The basics may be not of direct practical use, but they are essential for enabling you to continue learning new techniques in this developing area. And uh, secondly, uh, we would like to stay, uh, to be able to stand as close to the frontier of research and uh, industrial practice as possible and uh, to stay competitive in the future employment market in this exciting area. So we'd like to introduce our students the state-of-the-art techniques and uh, the cutting-edge research and uh, the most exciting application uh, problems. In a way that these two goals are complementary to each other, to have a good foundation is obviously helpful to uh, for you to learn new techniques. And uh, in learning new techniques, you will have good motivation and uh, a better understanding of the theory. But these two goals do compete uh, for the limited um, time and the resources that we can put in one semester. So our plan is as follows. We will have six lectures covering basic aspects. We will also have four guest lectures about cutting edge research and uh, modern data analytics in industrial practice. Of the six basic and the main lectures, Four of the lectures will be contributed to selected topics in learning from data for prediction, predictive tasks. In the first lecture, we will introduce the simplest possible predictive model that is to build linear model from data. We will also recap 
some of the most essential and uh, useful concepts from the inductory uh, data analytics, which is uh, a subject that is uh, very helpful for learning advanced uh, data analytics, obviously. In the second lecture, we'll have a look at the now very popular topic of uh, neural networks. How those um, beasts work in practice? Now those networks get uh, more and more complicated, and uh, companies such as Google's DeepMind are building complicated models that can beat human masters in very complicated uh, scenarios such as a Chinese game, uh, a Chinese Go game and uh, also build uh, uh, image and video analytics modules that could be used in future autonomous driving cars. All those algorithms and applications are driven behind by the idea of uh, uh, neural networks. Uh, and uh, we will consider uh, uh, the basics of uh, this uh, computational model and uh, learn how to derive uh, of our own networks. Uh, thirdly, we'll have a look at the information theory and uh, how it, how uh, a, a practical implementation, realization of such a theory of decision trees. We already encountered decision trees in our introductory study uh, of data analytics. Now we will get deeper and have a look at the information theoretical uh, principles behind such algorithms. Following decision trees, we'll consider a family of uh, uh, data analytic uh, techniques called the boosting or resampling methods. The, in this uh, lecture, we can have the taste that data analytics really is an interlude between data and algorithms. When you put clever usage of the data and the learning procedure, you can achieve how much you could achieve using very simple uh, data models. In the fifth basic lecture, we will consider feature selection and dimension reduction techniques. This problem is uh, different from the predictive tasks that is uh, uh, where you have um, a goal for the algorithm to uh, pursue or to learn. Uh, for the feature selection or dimension reduction, it mainly to represent a complicated form of data to a more informative uh, form. Such techniques in recent years has largely largely been um, replaced by the so-called end-to-end learning, which is itself um, uh, mostly realized by complicated neural networks. However, the principles uh, and uh, design motivations behind those uh, uh, developing those algorithms will also apply when you want to build your end-to-end -end learning procedures. So we will cover this topic in the fifth lecture. The sixth basic lecture, the last one, but not the least, we will consider a school of a thinking that's called the Bayesian method. It is about to making decisions facing uncertainty, which is the scenario of uh, uh, most data analytic tasks. Those basic lectures are consisting of uh, one hour lecture and uh, two hour lab tutorials. In the previous week of the lectures, I will prepare the learning materials and uh, upload uh, those materials, tutorials to UTS online. And the students are supposed to preview learning materials before going to the lectures. During the lecture and the, the tutorials, um, that is the face-to-face -face learning experience, we will try to get our hands dirty as much as possible with those algorithms. We'll build toy uh, projects, 
uh, and uh, solve uh, uh, practical problems. This way, I hope uh, can help you to get as much as possible from studying this uh, subject, and uh, it is uh, yeah will provide you a smooth and easy start uh, in doing your course projects. In the one-hour lecture, uh, we will use about uh, a third of the time to answer questions from students uh, I will collect from the UTS online forum. And uh, another third will be contributed to explain the most difficult and theoretical aspect of the corresponding uh, subject. And uh, uh, the last third I will try to demonstrate uh, what we will do in the lab tutorials uh, in each week. That will be a small project uh, showing how the technique works for practical problems. During the lab tutorials, students will have the opportunity to um, apply the learned technique to a small but a real life problem. Also, four guest lectures will be announced during the semester. The content and organization of the guest lectures will, of course, be determined by the guest lectures. We will find guest lectures that can bring us a, 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 a closer look at the frontier of cutting-edge research and uh, practical industry. To realize such a learning plan, we do need to learn some um, programming skills. We choose Python for, uh, as our language for implementing and learning the algorithms. One reason is that Python's uh, grammar is close to plain English. It is like you are instructing a computer to do certain procedure using English. So it is good for learning. On the other hand, uh, whatever algorithm you are consider in especially in the field of data analytics, it is likely that there are existing Python program or uh, Python package, which means the uh, uh, program might be written in other language but uh, could be accessed from the Python, uh, has already been implemented out there instead of uh, you need to write the, the algorithm from scratch. So uh, it is also good for production. But uh, as a tool, the implementation language is uh, not essential for our study. So for the assessment uh, assignment task uh, or in your learning, um, if you like, you could choose um, whatever language or language packages uh, you would like. But keep this in mind, um, sooner or later in this subject, you will need to program instead of uh, using uh, GUI to implement some of the algorithms we will discuss. At the end of this welcome message, I will show some instructions uh, of installation of the Python programming environment uh, onto your computer. Uh, the environment uh, is called Anaconda, which is a collection of uh, the Python language itself and uh, some, some very useful data analytic uh, packages that we will use in our study and our tutorial. I hope that will prove helpful to you. This said, it is entirely reasonable you have some uh, personal preference of the tools. It does not matter as long as we have the algorithm and the model learned, you can implement them in any tool of your choice. Especially in this subject, we do not have any requirement of using whatever particular tool to implement the tasks. As long as the function meets the criteria uh, that 
should be count as a, a valid uh, submission of the task. So it comes to assignments. For all students, there are three assignment tasks in this subject. Uh, notice that those tasks are slightly different for undergraduate, uh, undergraduate students who took subject 31005 and students, uh, postgraduate students who took subject 32513. The first assignment is uh, to write a reading report of uh, uh, the related literature. Both group of students share this assignment. You will be asked to read a research paper, understand its background, the problem it proposed to solve, uh, what makes the problem significant at the time of writing, of course, what is the proposed method, and uh, how the authors verified uh, their proposed method address, addressed the problem successfully, of course. And what is your point of view of uh, the proposed technique? You may not fully agree the, uh, what the authors claimed, uh, either their motivation, how they uh, solve the problem, or how they verify and support their solution. You will write uh, your understanding and your point of view in a report. That assignment uh, will be released, which means the uh, paper list from which you could choose a paper to read uh, in the first week that is um, 31st July, and uh, the report is due in the fifth week, that is uh, uh, on 28th August. It is supposed that individual students choose uh, a single paper to read each, but sometimes students find, uh, multiple students find one particular paper interesting to read. Uh, in that case, we keep a list and the papers will be distributed in a first come, first serve style. So if you want to choose an interesting paper to you to read, make sure you uh, make your selection early. Alternatively, Students can uh, resolve the conflicts within themselves and uh, just uh, let us know and update the list accordingly. Another situation is uh, that a student may find one particular paper that is very interesting but is not in our list. Though we have chosen the list uh, uh, based on both historical uh, view and um, the, considering the state of the art literature, it is quite possible you have legitimate reason to choose some paper outside the list. For example, it is closely related to your work, uh, or you have a special interest in some sub areas of data analytics. In that case, you can you can choose a paper to read outside the list, but make sure you write to me and we have an agreement before you doing this. In assignment two, both the undergraduate and the postgraduate students are required to do a data analytic uh, project that is related to real life problem. This assignment task is a typical do something and write about it task. Uh, all students are required to write a report about uh, their implementation, uh, their application of data analytic algorithms to solve the problem, including uh, why the problem is important. That is the significance of uh, uh, your report, your uh, method. Why you choose a particular algorithm to show your understanding of both the uh, problem and the algorithm, and the supportive evidence that 
your method works for that uh, particular problem. The specification of this assignment task will be released in week 5, that is uh, on 28th August. The assignment is due on week 10, that is 9th October. Actually, even without the details in the assignment specification, you may uh, plan a lot for this assignment. For students who also works, it is strongly encouraged that you choose a problem that is uh, related to your day-to-day uh, -day work. Uh, this way, you can understand the uh, logical between, uh, behind the problem well, and uh, you may choose the optimal solution to the problem. And uh, what differs from uh, uh, for the undergraduate students from the postgraduate uh, students is that for undergraduate students, you have an alternative. For example, if uh, you cannot find uh, any particular interesting um, real-life problem to you, you can choose to implement one of the learned data analytic algorithms. Um, by implementation, I mean to write computer grams from scratch and uh, implementing the data structure, um, the procedural steps of the algorithm, one step by another. Note that to install, adapt, and uh, uh, demonstrate an algorithm using an existing software uh, package will not be counted as implementing a particular uh, pro uh, algorithm. However, if you choose, I mean for the undergraduate students, if you choose the first option, that is to apply data analytic algorithms for a practical real-life uh, problem, you can use a software package to implement your algorithm because now the point and your contribution is your application of the, uh, the algorithm instead of your implementation of the algorithm. For undergraduate students only, you will need to make a video pitch about uh, the uh, project you have done. The pitch is due along with the report of this assignment that is on um, week 10. The best video pitches will be selected and uh, displayed in a movie night in week 11. Assignment 3 is different for undergraduate and uh, postgraduate students. For undergraduate students, people who choose subject 31005, this assignment is an exam, as a, well, a take-home exam. The questions will be released in week 10, and uh, the answer will do in week 11. For postgraduate student, assignment 3 is an individual work to write a project proposal applying data analytic techniques to a real-world problem. It, can, it should be an open problem that is challenging and significant. You are not required to provide uh, specific solutions to the problem. Just lay out your detailed plan to, uh, about how you want to attack the problem using the techniques uh, you have learned in, in this subject. The specification of uh, this project can be uh, for this assignment can be found in subject outline of uh, 32513. I would suggest you to start this uh, uh, proposal as early as possible. So at least you 
might want to choose a couple of uh, interesting problems that you have a passion in it and think about it. Uh, during the study in this semester, you can keep thinking about it when we have encountered some um, algorithm that uh, is suitable for your problem. You can immediately start working on this proposal. The deliverable of this assignment will be a report and a video pitch. You can consider the uh, proposed this assignment task as uh, as a startup CEO. You uh, want to meet some potential uh, investor. The your task is to uh, lay out a plan that is uh, both important, uh, interesting, and feasible to attract money for your project. In this part of the message, I will briefly introduce how to set up a Python programming environment that uh, will be useful for learning data analytic algorithms. The environment we will use is called uh, Anaconda, which is uh, a collection of uh, not only the Python programming language, but also a set of very useful uh, data processing packages. We will have the environment set up on overlap computers, but I am afraid um, that in the first few weeks, because our IT department are very busy with uh, setting up all lab uh, environments, there might be a uh, slight delay to ensure that everybody on the same page when we discuss and uh, learn the algorithms, and also to make life enormously easier for you to um, do the uh, assignment projects, I would uh, strongly recommend everyone who has a laptop to install the programming um, environment on your computer. And uh, the environment is a cross-platform, whatever you use, Linux, uh, Mac OS, or Windows, you all be able to, are able to uh, install the integrated environment on your computer. The first step is to download and install the software. Make sure you choose the uh, appropriate version for your operating system. If you encounter any uh, problems in your installation, which is unlikely, uh, you can Google uh, YouTube Anaconda installation and uh, followed by your particular operating system. Note that generally you do not need to worry about um, the technical jargon when people are talking about installation like uh, virtual environment which is you need to create uh, a different environment for different uh, projects. No, you don't need this. For, for now. Uh, don't worry about the Miniconda. Uh, please download and install all the packages come with Anaconda to list uh, trouble or problems you may encounter in the future. Just download uh, the main version of your operating system and uh, uh, install it. For people with Linux, you might encounter permission problems. Note that Anaconda allows you, actually it is by default, to install in your uh, user's home directory. That way you do not need any root privilege to install this software. Uh, we will also run an uh, introductory session in our first week lab tutorials. Our tutors will be um, uh, briefed to help people about the installation and I will be there so in the first one or two weeks we will help you about setting up your personal computers uh, to the learning environment we will use. 
after installing the uh, the software, I'd like you to launch the software from a uh, terminal. Uh, first, to launch the terminal itself, if you are using a Mac computer, you can get in your launcher and in the search dialog box, type TE. Most likely, the terminal program uh, will show on the screen, like that. In the terminal, change to a working directory or a temporary directory, like what is shown in this example. If you do not know how to change uh, to a working directory or a folder, uh, you can refer to um, some user manuals of your operating system, uh, which is not entirely difficult to understand. Using terminal to navigate between your folders, it is uh, just like to open different folders uh, in your finder if you are using a Mac computer or in the program named My Computer if you are using Windows. Uh, anyway, now the command to get into a folder is called change directory cd. Uh, I'd like you to change the directory to a working folder you're using. If you do not have such folder, you can make a new folder in a GUI program like a finder on my computer. Doesn't matter. And after that, if you type print working directory pwd, uh, terminal will show where you are. And now you are in the folder uh, where you would like to uh, working on. Now let us launch our uh, programming environment. Don't be scared. Here is as much as a hack-like interface uh, as you will get. After launching the software um, by typing Jupyter Notebook, if it uh, is launched successfully, you will get, uh, well, loads of gibberish. But uh, don't worry about that. Fortunately, now uh, we do not need to worry about the terminal anymore. Your internet browser will open a window and with the address, something like the local host followed by a port number slash tree, uh, showing the content of uh, the working folder that we are in. And from now on, we can mm, create a notebook in the browser window. And in the notebook, it uh, is sort of like uh, we are dealing with some website and we input the commands in the boxes in the notebook and uh, the notebook program will handle uh, our input with the backend uh, uh, python kernel program and uh, execute our commands or instructions and handle the python output to the browser window uh, in, so we can interact with the Python programming in an intuitive way. To get us more prepared uh, in the for the subject, I will run a Python Gym uh, notebook. I will continuously update the content of that notebook so the basic skills, language elements, and the concept we have introduced before we use them in our data analytic class and labs. So keep an eye on the pygym.ipython notebook uh, on our UTS online and in the docu uh, subject documents. We, I will keep updating the file from time to time. So welcome to the subject of data analytics and uh, you will find more helpful materials and uh, uh, links to external videos and books on our UTS online.